Good morning and welcome back to Parsnips and Pars Money. It has been one month since I've gone grocery shopping. And well, it's time. So I have my, I'm armed with my list. I have three places to stop today. And we're gonna see what kind of bargains we can find this fine spring lake Wednesday morning. All the food laid out. Let's go through and show you everything we have. This is four weeks since we've been grocery shopping. For those of you who are new to our channel, we're a family of 10. We buy most of our dry goods in bulk. So this is heavy on the fruits and vegetables because that's how you can't store fruits and vegetables. You have to buy them fresh. So if you're thinking we're missing some food, you're correct. That's because we end up buying it in bulk. You can check out that whole playlist on bulk foods and well let's just dig in here. We're gonna start over here. The pears were like a dollar nineteen a pound. These were three pound bags. Now they had a scale right there and this was the first time I actually did this. I had a few minutes to spare and I wanted to see how accurate these bags were. So I started weighing a few of the different pear bags and what I thought and I was correct is that some of the bags are heavier than others. So this one was almost four pounds, even though I only paid for three pounds. So money saving trick there, look for the heavier bags so you're stretching your dollar a little bit more. I didn't do that with the apples, apples are apples. These were $2.49 for a three pound bag. I went ahead and got 12 pounds of those. I forgot to get pinto beans last time I was at my bulk food supplier. Not a bad price. These are 69 cents a pound. That's, I'm happy with that. So I ended up picking up two bags of those. String cheese for Mr. Daniel because we're still kind of at that stage where he gets hungry in the afternoon. So I like to have a snack option for him. Uh, restock on onions, they were I think $1.29. Uh, the yogurt is for some great Trim Healthy Mama foods here. The butter was marked down to $1.59 a pound and there was no limit. So I went ahead and picked up, let's see, is that six, eight of those. This will probably be about a month and a half to two months worth. Just depends on how much the kids decide to bake. Now, because we went a whole month between shopping and usually my rotation is every three weeks, but we just managed to stretch it to four weeks, there were a lot of things we had used down to bare minimums. So a lot of this is just to restock that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep up with my once a month or go back to my every three weeks. Every three weeks is like my sweet spot, but this week we pushed it to four. So we got two half and halves. The cottage cheese, they didn't have the low fat that I usually use for Trim Healthy Mama, but I'm not going back to look for that. So we just ended up getting the four containers of that. The kids also use this for smoothies with all the fruit that we picked up. And this is for the kids snack bags. We have, uh, how long have we been doing the night night bags? Mm, a maybe year, a year or year so. year and a half. We have, if the kids are in bed and quiet by a certain time every night, they have a little special treat bag that Art fills up after they're asleep. And when they wake up, they have a little special treat bag. We have never tried these, but we thought, oh, that would be something fun and different for the girls. And it has revolutionized our sleep routine. <laughs> It really was a uh, blessing in disguise. Um, oil, stock up items. I usually buy my soy sauce in a huge jug, but that bulk food supplier has been pretty limited because of COVID and this is a whole year. So what is that, a gallon? I think it's usually a gallon of soy sauce I buy and it lasts me a year, year and a half, but we haven't been able to get that. So I did find that at Aldi. Fire roasted tomatoes. If you guys haven't tried these, 92 cents a can. They're a little bit more expensive than regular diced tomatoes, but they are so worth it. And Charity's been using that for some of her college food. And then I found these. They don't always have these, but they're like the Rotel tomatoes. Oh, so yummy. Tortillas were back. The price had gone back up on them. So they were, I think I told you, $1.35 a pack for these $1. guys. $1.35 and then the other ones are the same price, I think. Okay. So yeah. Art prefers the corn. The kids prefer the flour. We just have a nice mix and everybody's happy. 
someone gifted me Brussels sprouts and I know some of you guys love them and some of them you guys probably don't enjoy them so much and I have never been a huge Brussels sprout fan but when someone gifted me several large frozen bags of them I have discovered I love them so when I saw them I said I'm gonna pick up a bag it's fine if nobody else wants to enjoy them it makes it's actually a really fun lunch for me it was 92 cents for a bag I thought that was pretty good I found some uh, off-brand Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I'm not sure how the price compares to buying them in bulk off of Amazon, but they were a dollar. Do you remember? You know, you weren't with no. me when I got those. Any erasers. So it was a dollar ninety-five for a two-pack. I do not know how that compares to either coupons or Mr. Clean, but I do know that I need them. So I picked them up. I'll do a little bit more research on the price comparison later. Mm. Toilet paper had been a couple months since we had purchased. Again, we were able to stock up over the past year when we were shopping and we found what we needed. We'd stock up. In the last three months, we've been pulling out of our stock. So just trying to keep more of a uh, normal level on that. Uh, let's see, lettuce. This is another item that it pays to get the larger bags because you pay per the bag. And I think they were $2.69 or $2.99 a bag. Some of the bags are really small and this one, it was a nice heavy one. So I always look for the heavier ones, which gives me more bang for my buck. The spinach was $1.49 a bag. That should last us about a week or two. Carrots are just a stock up item. Sweet potatoes were a dollar. Let's see, we would have put that in the beginning because that was heavy, right? Three pounds for $1.77. So that those that's one meal for us, but something we enjoy and uh, change. The avocados were 59 cents a piece. So I went ahead and got four of those. And the Roma tomatoes, they're nothing like my garden tomatoes, but. I felt like tomatoes. Mm, six months before tomatoes. 99 cents <laughs> for a pound. So everything here at Aldi came to $201.76. Didn't keep it under 200. <laughs> that was sort of like my goal, but we got a lot of stock up items. And this is for an entire month. So there we have it. All right. Then I moved over to Hannaford. They had these bonelet or bone in pork butt roasts. Great price, 99 cents a pound. I also had a Hannaford coupon, which brought it down um, $1.46. So I ended up paying $7.23 for, how many pounds is that art? Eight, almost nine pounds of, I think it's almost nine pounds of pork. Good price there, we'll make some pulled pork for the kids sometime in the next week. And then, Hi. that's all. Hi. Oh, and that's the other thing. The other thing I forgot to mention at Aldi were these corned beefs. They were on sale for $1.99 a pound. So I went ahead and picked up two. I'll cook them both at the same time. One goes in the freezer. I'll grind it, put it in the freezer, and I make my corned beef casserole. If you guys haven't seen that recipe, I'll put a link for it down in the description. Kids love corned beef casserole. I make it about two or three times a year. Really delicious. And now's the time to stock up on the corned beef. It's the cheapest this time of year. So at Price Shepherd, I took advantage of their coupons this week. Orange juice, 99 cents for this entire container. And this is actually going to get turned, not all of it, but some of it's gonna turn get turned into my mom's traditional cranberry bread, which we have for Thanksgiving. I haven't made it, and I've got some frozen cranberries. Again, trying to eat with what we have, which means cranberries. On that, along that same line, I have a balsamic cranberry pork loin recipe, which is fabulous and the pork loin was on sale this week for $1.69 a pound. They had them in the long pork loin roasts, I guess you would call them, or they had the butcher had actually cut a couple of these packages and I thought oh, this is so much easier to handle for me to have it cut like this instead of me having to cut it. So I was this this is very helpful for me. So I was really excited about that. And there was no extra charge on that. Uh, the price is what it was. Potatoes at Aldi's were $4.89 for 10 pounds. Price Chopper had them on sale for $1.99 for 5 pounds. So that's what mm, almost a dollar savings by right. buying them um, oh. the 10 pound. If you buy 10 pounds from Price Shopper versus Aldi, it's about a dollar savings. So I don't know why potatoes are up so high, but I guess that's how it goes. 
they had another coupon for this Price Chopper brown rice, or you could buy the Kraft macaroni and cheese. And what I ended up doing is getting the brown rice because it was 49 cents for two bags. I usually get my rice at Walmart in a 20 pound bag, but when I did the math, the Walmart rice is 49 cents a pound and I got 49 cents for two pounds. So that was definitely worth stocking up on. The salad here was 99 cents. Again, a good price for that. The butter was another coupon. You could limit one, 99 cents. But we took a quick stop at their markdown station. If you're looking for a markdown station, I don't know where it is in every store, but look for it. Sometimes it's a center individual display. Mine's in the freezer section, but at my mom's store, it's closer to the dairy cabinet. Walk all over your store and look for just kind of a display that has a bunch of odds and ends and check it out because they often put their markdown items. So this box has a little crinkle here, not a big deal, but here it is. It has a markdown sticker saying reduced for quick sale, 50 cents. So this was a great price for the Luguini. And then this is college food for my 18 year old. I picked these up so she has something quick and easy. This one was marked down for 50 cents. And then the Kraft macaroni and cheese was marked down to 60 cents. So I ended up getting all those for charity so she'd have something on hand. Everything at Price Chopper came to $20.04. I have tried to figure out how they took the deductions and the coupons. I'm not sure how they did it, but that was what I paid. $20.04 for all the Price Chopper food, which I think was fabulous. Everything here came to a grand total of $229.03. Not bad. I think that's actually a little more. I feel or I feel like that's a little bit higher than we pay every three weeks. If you were to do the math, I feel like it's higher, but I don't know. Maybe it was one of those cases where yeah, we did get a lot of we stuff. Got, we got a lot of food and we were out of almost all fruits and vegetables. And we got a lot of meat. This We got a bunch of meat that we mm -hmm. haven't been getting. So it is what it is. Let me know over on the community page what you're finding at your grocery stores. How are your prices? Are you finding there's certain items that are higher than others? And have a chat with me over there. As always, thanks for watching. Check out those bulk food haul videos so you guys can see the rest of some of the deals we've been able to get over the past couple years. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.